Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at some security issues with Microsoft Outlook. So, if you are using Microsoft Outlook on your desktop PC, these are some things you're definitely going to want to take a look at, and uh, sooner rather than later, due to the fact that Microsoft don't seem to be able to effectively update Outlook, especially the Outlook 365 version, automatically. Now, there are sections in Windows that you can go in and choose to do updates for other Microsoft products, but it doesn't seem that Outlook or the Office suite in general, gets updated as quickly as it should do, especially when there are a lot of attacks and attack vectors out there at the moment, especially with the moment there is a RCE, or Remote Code Execution flaw, in Outlook, which can mean that if you download a picture, effectively, even without being clicked on, you can have your PC compromised. Now, it is quite scary stuff, but it's not terrible, but it is always worth doing these security things, just to give you a little bit of a sense of security, Essentially, the biggest problem on most computers in terms of security is, well, me and you, we are the ones that click on stuff, which we probably shouldn't do, and yeah, all hell breaks loose. But to help try and rectify that, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you some things you can do to try and patch up Outlook as best as possible. Okay, so we've got Outlook open on our desktop PC. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your Outlook software is actually up to date and also for the rest of your Office suite. This is really easy to do. All you want to do is head over to File, then scroll down to the left hand side to your Microsoft account or your Office account. And in this section, you've got the Microsoft 365 and Office updates. So what we're gonna do, click on update options and just simply choose update now. This is gonna check for updates on the Microsoft servers and get your system up to date. It'll download what is needed, update the software. You may need to close down Office. So if there's anything you need to save, obviously do that before you close. So after it's finished downloading, you'll get this option here. So save your work before continuing. We need to close the following app. So it's gonna actually close down Outlook. So when you're ready, click on continue. Then it's gonna apply the updates. And then it's gonna reopen Outlook. So that's great. We've now got all this done. Fantastic. Now what we can do is actually take advantage. So you'll find here when you have emails coming in, it's gonna try and block the automatic download of external images, which is great, that's what you want to do. But in order to make it so that it doesn't download images from ones that you previously said are safe, this is what you want to do. So head into File, go into Options, go into the Trust Center, then open the Trust Center Settings, and you've got these options here. So the first one at the top is great, you want that one. So don't download pictures automatically in standard HTML email messages, meetings, or RSS items. These ones here, you can actually allow it if they're in your trusted zone. Now at the moment, due to these RCE flaws and also the zero click nature of some of the problems within Outlook, my suggestion would be to actually remove all of these. The choice ultimately is up to you. Don't remove this one at the top. That's really important that you keep that enabled, otherwise it will just download everything in the email, regardless of what security measures you've got in place. So by removing these, it's basically gonna stop doing it if there's anything in your trusted zone. So if you've got a sender that sends you stuff on a regular basis, you fully trust it, so you've allowed it to download images. If for some reason, somebody manages to spoof that email address and sends you illicit packets, which are potentially going to be malware, then this is going to prevent that happening. So if it comes through and it's got like a strange email or the tone of the email isn't quite what you normally expect, it could be that they've actually been compromised and are using it as a attack vector. So definitely leave those disabled. Again, entirely up to you. You could also at the bottom have this one, warn me before downloading content when editing, forwarding or replying to an email message or meeting. That's probably quite useful to have, a little bit annoying, but I would suggest have your settings like this for the trusted zone. Once you're happy, click OK. Then OK again. And again, if you go to an email, say this one here from Skullshaver, then these were previously in my approved list as uh, we use Skullshaver products. But now you can see it hasn't downloaded the bulk of the email. So we've got a little bit of an idea of what it is. If you want to download it, you can click on this section here and then you can choose to either download the pictures, 
you can add them to your safe senders, although we've blocked safe senders automatic downloads. So essentially what it's gonna do is to make it so that if you wanna see the full pictures, you have to click on download pictures. So it's just another step in protecting your system. So there you go, there are some top tips on how to secure your Microsoft Outlook on your desktop PC. I would strongly suggest you do this straight away. Ultimately, it's down to the individual. If you don't really care about your PC too much or you don't worry about the security, then of course, just ignore this, it's absolutely fine. But I think the majority of people these days do use their PC for multiple things, such as online banking, shopping perhaps, eBay, Amazon, all those types of things. So if you wanna respect your PC and protect it a little bit more, then I think this is a really good thing to do. Anyway, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.